Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of City Skylines. See our cities chugging along. Not the best intersection in the world. Um, today we're going to be working on the industry. We have a little bit of demand. Finally got the housing sort of thing under the way. Um, we got quite a bit of money. And traffic was okay last I looked. In the 80s. There's a couple spots that are pretty bad, but we can live with it for now. Um... Now, our fishing industry has actually progressed pretty decently, all things considered. Um, if we look at our thing here, we can now build other fishy things, but they just make fish faster. We can make a fish factory, which makes the processed goods, which might actually make our fish profitable. We can also make a fish farm, which is like the sort of things in a hatchery, which we need to unlock the algae farm and the seaweed farm, which um, stuff uh, unlock some of the perks and stuff for like lower sewage and stuff. Now these say they suffer from local water pollution. I've actually thought about making a fish farm in a sewer pipe just to see how it does it. Cause I don't know if it makes your people sick or you just get less fish. But I thought it'd be interesting to check, but let's put down this uh, fish farm real quick. I'm gonna put it over here. Yeah, there we go. And then we're gonna put down a road. I'm kind of out of the way, but I'm not too worried. There we go. Now we need several thousands of these. Oh wow, you reached. And we can expand over here eventually. But if, right now we're gonna look at oil because we have available, there we go, the natural resources button. We have a bunch of oil right here. I already marked it off in the previous episode, like one of the first or second episodes. I really wanna go down there. Actually can, it'd be cool. I have a little thing there. Nice little lake. Um, but it's right here. Now we're going to have to unfortunately pull down those little assets. And we need to put down some roads. It's, oh, I wish you could keep this um, resource thing open while you're laying down roads sometimes. But, eh. So I think that's oil. I always have trouble telling oil and ore. I believe the light gray is ore. I've never really done oil before. I usually do forestry because it doesn't run out, but I have a mod on. It's like one of the natural mods that come with the game to um, have unlimited resources, so I don't have to worry about this running out. So let's try our oil industry. So what do we got? Main building. Now this doesn't have to be in the industry area. Let's get this off. There we go. Let's see if we can get this down now. There we go. We got oil pumps, oil pyrosis plants, and tanks. So let's see here. We need to put these in the industry area. See what kind of roads we got working with here. We do have the roads with the turn lanes. We have any good industry roads or something? These are going to get busy. We want at least two lane roads on each side, four lane roads or whatever. Just so trucks can turn around? Wow. Basic row with turning lane? No. So small four lane road? No parking spaces. Don't know if that matters. I think we'll just go with the normal four lane roads. Um, 
Monorail? No. Industry Road. More noise pollution supports medium traffic. Let's try that. Alright, that's enough for now. We get all this extra area to expand. And also remember that only the processing bits have to be in the area. Small oil pumps. Oh, the main area does have to be in there. Okay. I did thought it didn't. Why does it say not in an industry area? So we'll just move this. Oops. I don't know why I could place it there to begin with then. That is so very odd. Oh, it made its own. Okay. Well, that's inconvenient. New placing down the main building made its own area. All right. And I guess we'll just paint this off. Here we go. All right. Does it make pollution? Noise pollution and stuff, yes. And does it have problems with overlapping? No, okay. Let's do two of those for now. Obviously, we need power on this side of the... Actually, we'll probably make this easier on ourselves. For now, we'll just have these over here. I drew this whole area for no reason. And then I guess we'll put... a storage thing. Or a plant. Well, that's a lot of noise pollution. It's a big area. And then we'll put tank farm here just to keep it out of the way. We got water and everything over here. Okay, we're good. So we have almost enough workers. Acquisition six barrels. Total profit, nothing. Let's see if we can make this a little easier for people to get here. Just for the heck of it. And then. As always, we have these trouble with these bushes. I don't know what these bushes. They just, they ignore, I don't have anarchy on. It's just these bushes don't like going away. I don't know what kind of props they are, but they're everywhere on this map and they don't go away when I build stuff. So let's see, this is making 4,800 per week. Production rate 4,000 per week. So we should be pretty good. Oil, balanced, empty.
Now we have, as you can see, no thing over here. So quite a bit of ways to the freeway. So we're going to put it as a harbor, I think, if we can. Ah, uh, sublimps. So we have ferries. No, we don't have a harbor yet. No, it's... So I think we have just trains. Um, yeah. And the only train line in our entire map goes straight down the middle here. So that is unfortunate. Let's see what we can do with that. I think it tracks a train station before we go down train tracks. Okay, well, let's try this. Okay. Let's see if we can fix this. Let's figure out how to rotate it. All right. That should be good. Let's get rid of some of these bushes. Nice draw road. Standard industry road is probably fine. And we'll also have connection to that, maybe. I'm not sure. I think it goes this way. We'll see. That's probably not the best thing in the world. I think it's only a two-lane one, but oh well. Should be able to draw our little train lines now. That is probably going to get so backed up. Hmm. Let's try this. Um, control O. No. <laughs> I don't know. Can you do a roundabout builder with train tracks? All right, I am curious. So we got it back together. It was really hard to get the connected after I already took it apart. But we're going to try the roundabout together. So let's see. Radius 2. Okay, let's try this. Now, they're just roads. So if there's a way to do train tracks, it's not with this particular mod. Unfortunately. Hopefully, the trains can go both ways. Let's see if this goes as we want it. There's a truck that went in. There's a truck that goes out. Let's check. Exporting oil. Okay. The train should appear eventually if they're exporting. There we go. Two. So it can get out, okay. It can go up. Hopefully it can go down as well. All right. Obviously we could use a cargo train on the other side over here. Okay, these finally finished emptying. Hopefully four of these being full is enough for the advancement or whatever. Oh, and I love electricity. Must have destroyed something. Let's, let's make another incinerator.
There we go. So, woodwork is working. Almost got enough workers. Let's just put down another building, I guess. It's exporting all my oil, even though that is very odd. Farming, farming oil. I thought two pumps would be more than enough. I think a lot of it's just the trucks exporting it when I don't need to. Oh, garbage. So we are making profit, I guess. Output a barrels, a barrels. Well, guys, that went a little better than I thought it would. We got our oil industry set up, a lot of room for future expansion. Got our first train cargo station in with the super janky rails. Learned that we can't use the roundabout builder to put in train rails. I mean, I think there is a way. I'm pretty sure I've seen Biffa do it, but there must be a different mod or add-on or something for that. Because all I could select was road types. Traffic has not only really destroyed itself yet. Oops. Um, despite the industry area popping up, it hasn't completely destroyed everything yet. We have absolutely really no public transit. Oops. Uh, more oily stuff we can work on. Um, but we have no public transit in our city other than the ferries, really. We have a couple bus routes that really don't get any people. But our ferry... Well, not too bad. These are all basically one stop is busy. And I didn't want to put too many cars in. I mean, I do have eight, even though almost every other stop is empty. So, eh. I really just need something else. Same with this one, really. Just all one stop. Not sure which one it is. I think it's this one. It's keeping up, basically. They just go through the residential areas. And then our ferry, obviously. Doing pretty good. Hundred or so people, and it's keeping up with the fast ferries. If I had the slower ferries, I probably wouldn't cut it. But yeah, that's it covers everything from over here to over here. So most of our people can get around with the ferries, and they seem to like to do so. Like I said, I can't go completely around like I'd wanted. Um, the map is too small. You can't buy these squares. So that's unfortunate. So far, so good. I mean, this map is kind of nice. I like the wraparound river. Not too fond of this huge highway intersection right in the middle of your first starting square and then the railroad line being through it again. It's kind of annoying. All your outside connections are basically right in the middle. Although, I guess I could have moved the rail line now. But yeah, guys, this will be uh, just a guy signing off. Hopefully, next time... We can do something. I'm not sure. I think I want to focus on public transit next episode. Because like I said, all I have is the ferry. I'm not sure what I want. We could have blimps, but they don't usually do very much. They can't keep up. Um, we do have monorail, I believe. And metro. Just blimps for the air traffic. Cable car might not be too bad for across the river, but again, it's kind of expensive for how little people pay to use it. Then we just got no post office anywhere, which usually makes people happy, but I don't have the traffic managed well enough just yet to put post offices in. But yeah, guys, this will be just a guy signing off. Catch you guys later. Bye.